Hey everybody, Judy Seeker here, back with another episode. So happy to have you on here, the Holistic Nurse Success Event. As always, you better get your notebooks out because we have a speaker today near and dear to my heart talking about the one therapy that is a game changer, a game changer in business, a game changer with helping people. Oh my God, you guys better be ready. We are on fire. Today, we're going to go deep, deep into a modality that you need to know about, because if you don't know this, you're leaving money on the table and you're not going to help as many people as you think. So without further ado, we're going to deep dive and welcome Dr. Katka, because I don't have a clue how to say your last name. Dr. Katka, thank you for being here. So happy to be here. Thank you. Say your last name. Novakova. Yeah, Novakova. Okay. From Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. We are cousins. I'm from Hungary. So here we are. And you have a clinic in Arizona. Yes, where I in do. Where in Arizona? It's north of Phoenix. North of Phoenix. And you're a naturopath. So your specialty, well, you have a few, but your specialty is ozone therapy. But first, let's talk a little bit about you. Tell us a little bit about you, how you become a naturopath, your little story here. My little story is long and is quite beautiful. Looking back, I started as a, I started with my own physical condition, lots of eczema when I was a kid. So naturally I wanted to be in medicine. I wanted to know what to do, how to heal myself. I went into medical school, traditional medical school in Prague, Czech Republic. So I have my MD shortly after I knew there is more to healing than just drugs and surgery. And I thought, okay, what do we do? I was fortunate enough to come to Phoenix, Arizona, start naturopathic school. And, the, you know, the rest is history. The rest is history. Been, yeah, ozone ever since, really. Yeah, the thing is, is we all got into this because there's something that's happened and that we wanted to fix and then we got to be good at it and all that kind of stuff. So let's first talk about the ozone therapy. How did you find it? Like you're in Czech Republic, you come over here. Tell us a little bit about how you got into it. Yeah, it is meant to be looking back. When I was a student at the Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine, one of the teachers was very fortunate herself to learn the German method from her colleague who learned it literally in Germany. So coming a long way from the Czech Republic, neighboring Germany, I learned about ozone here in the United States. So she taught me and right off the bat, I saw the therapy, I knew there is something very special about it. I need to be learning this from day one. And I made sure I learned everything and anything I can about it. Yeah, I'm totally with you on that. Ozone therapy, there's something that is very attractive about it. We're going to go deep into it so that the nurses understand how to use it as a modality. But specifically, did it help you heal your eczema? I mean, like you learned about it through your teacher, but did it help you right away? Because that's how I got into it. It healed me of my Lyme disease. Did it help you right away with something? I have seen it heal other people. That's what really did it for me. My eczema was already healing as I was in naturopathic school, but this doctor was healing literally the patients that nobody else wanted to touch. She saw the chronic, oh my goodness, years of long-term history illness and they were getting better. And I thought, pay attention here, pay attention. This is different. Yeah, exactly. And, and when someone is a really good teacher and seeing results, and then you bring it into your clinic and see the results as well, that's, that's a game changer. So everybody needs to understand what is ozone therapy. There's so much misinformation out there. So let's go just, we're going to go give good overview because you have a special gift for everybody that they could learn more about ozone therapy. We'll talk about that in a few minutes, but let's explain what is ozone therapy? Is it safe? who should use it, all that fun stuff. Uh, yes. Although we could talk three hours on this, we know, but <laughs> we could talk all day. Yeah, I know. How do I summarize it best? Really, we're using the number one nutrient, which is oxygen, and we are supercharging it with an additional electron, which makes it ozone. That additional electron becomes available to our body. This is one of the safest therapies that I have done. Really, we're just using one's blood, and oxygen. We have medical oxygen that our machine turns into ozone and that does all the magic. There's a little bit of heparin in there. That's it. As far as safety, there is 0.0001% of side effects. And those really only are with people that 
are contraindicated for ozone. So bleeding, pregnancy. So there's few rare treatments where you wouldn't want to do ozone for. Otherwise, who is this for? Truthfully, this can be used as a preventative treatment, as a longevity treatment, and healing all sorts of physical conditions. So the one, number one idea with ozone, it is anti-inflammatory, it is anti-pathogen, it brings oxygen to the tissue, it up-levels our body's ability to uptake oxygen. So in the long run, it makes our, you know, our field and our body, our, our flora, our, mm, our just potential to heal, it up-levels that to begin with. And what is ozone? It can be done in few different ways. We'll talk about that. But the idea is we are literally bringing the number one nutrient in our body and letting our body do whatever it needs to do with it. Yeah, exactly. I, I love ozone because like you said, it's safe, it's easy to use. People see fast, fast results, right? So we'll get into a couple of your case studies. So just so everybody gets it right here in the beginning, you're going to offer, uh, which I just found out about, I'm really excited about it, it's a brilliant idea. You have a class that people could uh, get it to understand about ozone therapy, it's totally free. We'll have the link below so everybody could get that. People learn this. This is the number one modality that we are seeing the biggest difference with and hardly anybody is doing it. So I'm so excited. Okay, so ozone therapy um, the, is safe, it's easy to use. What are you finding um, in your clinic? You, you use it as MAH, which is major autohemotherapy, um, just so the nurses, because nurses love needles, right? I don't like needles, please. You guys love needles. Explain that process a little bit so they just know what that looks like and how hard is that to learn and all that stuff? So the main treatment takes about 20, 30 minutes, depending on the blood flow, but the idea of course, everything is sterile, one-time use. We use a container. It's either evacuated glass container or a bag. And we draw the blood into and outside of the body. Then we fill it with ozone, mix it together. And the power here is what I have seen with patients. They see the blood in front of their eyes literally go from dark to bright. So the healing is happening. You know, talk about the power of suggestion is happening already there. And then the blood goes back into the body, recirculating through every single cell, literally within seconds. So it's very palpable for the for the patient and oftentimes I have somebody sitting there's like wow I feel better already wow I can like you know I can see better I can hear better it's immediate and it is it is very simple to learn there are some few key parts that I have learned along the way literally I have studied with you know, Dr. Schellenberger, Dr. Lahodny, Dr. Rowan with all of them and I have taken it and sort of took the best of everyone and what works the best, what makes it the easiest to learn. And there's few troubleshootings that are important to know that I did learn on my own as I went. But once you know them, and once you know what to look for, it's very easy to administer. It's very easy to be there with a the person. This is the one therapy you wanna be present with the person at all times for the 30 minutes of the duration. And um, once it's done, you know, I people feel better almost immediately. The yeah. more acute the condition, really, the faster the-, well, the that, Right, it depends on how bad they are, right? So I love the part that it's easy. I didn't do the needle part, but the, the MAH, but I did other, other versions of that. But the, the thing is it's only 30 minutes. And then, and then they see, I love that uh, you said that the, the blood turns from dark, meaning that is toxic. You know, there's bad stuff in there and they see it turns light and then they actually feel better. Now there's something called five pass and 10 pass also. Mm -hmm. And this could be Google. There's lots of lots of uh, PubMed, articles, studies about ozone therapy. So you guys need to look it up. Uh, it is out there. What are you seeing as far as, um, you know, the people after they're done, after they get up, um, give us, give us an example of something that you see that happened like super fast. 
So the super fast or the fastest is when somebody comes with acute infection. So acute flu, acute cold, literally they, they can walk out of the office feeling better. For the most part, within 24 hours, they feel better. Like I had a- That's in one of, session. That's in one session. That's not the bypass, that's not the temp pad. This is one session. Correct. Wow. Correct, yes. And as far as, I have a lot of patients come for um, viral infection and infections, but what they're reporting back is, wow, I feel better, I feel stronger, I feel healthier. I didn't even know I could feel this way. Or, wow, it was 20 years ago since I remember feeling this way, literally after two or three treatments. Wow. And so, so there's something called five pass and 10 pass. Explain that part to us. So this is more new. Dr. Lahodnik came to United States in 2015. I was fortunate enough to be there in his first class. And he brought in a new treatment calling the high dose ozone therapy or multi-pass therapy. Up until then, all we were doing is MAH, which is a regular ozone. What I want to make sure is that we don't lose the understanding of how powerful that treatment is. Just in and of itself without having to do multi-passes. Quite the opposite. I have seen that patient has to be ready to go into the multi-pass to have the benefit of it. Because if we're not ready for the high dose ozone, if we don't have pathways of detoxification open, we actually could lose some of the benefit because it gets lost in the detoxification reaction. But Yes, there is something called 5 pass, 10 pass, which is the next level of ozone therapy. Yeah, I agree with you. I think sometimes the guys push too much too fast and then the patients get uh, a reaction and it's not necessary. It's just like, just take your time. Like you said, get the patient ready is perfect. So let's talk a little bit about um, nurses because everybody who is at this event are registered nurses, right? Mm -hmm. So are, is there a specific... Um, number one, training. You have training in your in your clinic, so we're gonna so everybody stay tuned to the end. We're gonna tell you guys how to do that. But um, do, can they do this if they're a registered nurse, or do they have to work with a medical license? Uh, so like my a understanding is, though, my understanding is, if somebody has an ability to do intravenous therapy, they can do ozone. That's just another intravenous therapy. So if I'm able to do alternative medicine in an IV form, ozone is part of that. Okay, perfect. So it's always good. I mean, we're not giving legal advice, disclaimer, always check with your state and see what it, what's going on. But it's a very gray area. And that's the whole bottom line you have to understand. And like you said, if you have a license to be able to give IVs, yeah, it's, it's not really a problem. There's uh, somebody who will be speaking about legalities during this event. So that way you could ask them questions. In the meantime, let's get into, um, give us some case studies, give us some specific st people that came in with the problem. You did ozone and, and, and the question is, did you do only ozone or did you do other things? Like you said, did you prepare them? Did you do something after? Did you like talk to us? Like what happened with some of the people that came in? Yes. So always I make sure to treat the whole person. So what we do, we do a brief interview, making sure I know where they're at. Are there pathways of detoxification open and ready? A lot of, I have two different categories of patients coming. One are very healthy. They just want to feel better. They want to enhance their athletic performance, or they have one or two vital conditions that are literally not you know, dangerous to their life. They just want to heal it. Those are very easy and they can handle high doses of ozone right away. And we do that after we just do a couple of blood work, CBC, CMP. I like to do G6PD, which is glucose 6-phosphate for the high doses of ozone, just to make sure we're covered. Once we have that ready to go, it's easy. They respond beautifully. For the other group that are more chronically ill, that have been stagnant in their detoxification pathway, it is a better to take it slower because they feel better. And I want to do a high dose ozone for them and then have them go through two, three days of detox. That's unnecessary. So yeah, I do other therapies, open their liver, make sure they have binders in their colon that can hold the toxins moving through. And yeah, we start with a lower dose and I like to build up on the dose for them. And I do feedback when they come back. Are you feeling great? Are we good to go for the higher dose? Or did you have a headache for the whole day? And do we need to slow down and intervene a little bit with some liver support? So I, I just go, I don't do protocol, you know, we'll do 10 ozones and you'll be better. It's just 
let's start with three to five, literally, and see where you're at. You will be better at the end, and we're going to listen to your body along the process. Yeah, no, and I, and I agree with you. Again, it's going slowly, not pushing the person, taking their time. Um, with the people that you work with, um, you said about getting them ready and detoxification, making sure their pathways are open. Um, do you spend a lot of time before that? Because what I'm hearing in the ozone world, so many people get the Herxheimer, which is they get all these side effects of the detox, which is not necessary. My people never get it because I work hard to make sure they don't. But um, are you seeing that the detoxification process with it is an important component of this? Very much so, yeah. So the Herxheimer reaction, what we have done in the ozone, ozone world, we have made it normal. It's like, oh, it's okay. If you have a Herxheimer, it's just part of the ozone. What the, what the detoxification symptoms are actually telling us that the body is literally unable to move the toxins out. So the ozone comes in, it upregulates the metabolism, right? So we're asking the body to push in the toxins out. If we don't have a way out, we're going to feel Herxheimer. Is that good thing? Not necessarily. Does it tell us, oh, the ozone is working, which is what I heard? I mean, maybe, and it's very unnecessary. It's quite the opposite. We want to avoid those and there are a way to avoid those. So that's why I like to make sure we have the binders, bond movements daily, the liver pathways one and two open. Yeah, I have since really making sure that patients are ready. We have not had patients have Herxheimer reaction, literally mostly feeling better afterwards. And that is the end goal. And this is why I have you on here, because all the men I've interviewed, I did a World Ozone Summit uh, back in 2018, and all the men were like, oh, this is normal. Herxheimer is just part of the whole process. And you're saying the exact same thing I am. It doesn't have to be. Just take it. It's to be the woman touch we have. I don't know. We have something going on. <laughs> it's <Well>, magic. <laughs> magic. Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. So those of you who are listening, pay attention. We really know how to lead you in this. So people get fast results. They're going to feel better quickly. They're going to come back and tell everybody, you're going to have a booming business. You're going to be successful. And that's why I'm so excited that Dr. Katka is on here explaining this. Okay. So um, a lot of people are on supplements and medication, right? Mm -hmm. Have you seen, like, is there like a protocol? Are there some things like contradiction that they need to be aware of? Because it seems like everybody and their mother is on something mm -hmm. medication wise, especially, right? So what have you found in your experience? Like, do they have to be you know, experienced to watch for that kind of thing? The only medicine we watch for is anticoagulants. And if they're on a high doses, then we really, we decrease the level or the dose of heparin that we use. Other than that, I have not seen any contraindication with ozone. Oh, that's interesting you say that. So you don't see that like if people are taking antioxidants, your vitamin C, whatever, that they shouldn't do ozone right after that. Do you think that's an issue? So that there is a conflicting information out there. You're going no, to hear some too. places say you shouldn't do it together. And I have followed that for a while. And then literally when I thought, okay, what's going to happen if they are having a headache, they are having a detoxification reaction. I give them glutathione right after I give them taurine, I give them antioxidant to help to move what the ozone is doing, they actually do better. So I have gone with what works best for the patient, which oftentimes is combining the therapies together. Because we do want to remember the ozone comes in and the work happens right away. There is no, the ozone comes in, the reactions in the body happens literally right away. So shortly after we can bring in these other nutrients that are helping the body at that point to deal with the effect of the ozone. Yeah, that's, that's well said. So um, as far as the business aspect, because we mm -hmm. want everybody to be successful at it, again, we'll tell everybody about the training that you offer, but um, is this your main uh, modality for your business that is financially really establishing your clinic is ozone what you're using the most then so the idea of our practice is a holistic you know big picture health looking at all aspects and what has transpired people really want the ozone they come for it they they fly to us from all over united states i the furthest gentleman came actually from granada 
So we do have people ask for the ozone because they have heard of it and they have seen others get so much like better, so much faster. So yeah, it has become the bulk of what we do right now is the ozone therapy. Yeah, and I, I agree. I, ozone is, is cutting edge. It's going to be really growing by leaps and bounds in the next few years. So that's why, again, I want us to be out in the front of the whole movement. Um, so as far as like pricing, so we want the nurses to be successful. What, have you, what did you start at with your packaging and how you did the ozone? And let's talk about uh, where you're at now, because of course things have changed. You know that everything is different now in the world. And let's make everybody current. So tell us where you started out so people could see this is where you're at and tell us what you are seeing now is working. I honestly don't remember why I started that because it's 20 years ago. So, oh my goodness, I don't wanna, uh, but it was definitely over 150. I, I went with what other doctors charge. We have, um, we have been a long time at 195 per treatment. And lately, just very recently, we have raised the price to 220. And the reason for that is because the supply has become uh, literally that price increase in the supply. So we have just transferred it onto our patient. And I have to say, it has not been an issue. People really are very grateful to pay for that. And a lot of them, I'm surprised, say, oh, that's it? Oh, okay. So it's been fairly easy with the price. So wait, that, so one MAH, which takes about a half hour is about 220, you said? Yes. Okay, that's very on the low end. You should see what the guys are charging. So <laughs> that's just the way I they are. I should see what the guys are charging, yes. Oh yeah, I, yeah, we'll have that talk. Um, and, then, and then do you offer packages as well? Like, you know, ozone plus mm -hmm. other modalities, like mm -hmm. do you put other things together? We don't offer ozone packages because it just hasn't worked well people because oftentimes I have done you know 10 ozone and then they didn't need 10 ozone package really they only needed five so we are not doing packages for ozone we are doing packages when we combine IV and ozone therapy so we definitely give discount there about 10 percent discount or so and the other thing I want to talk about there's we do a lot of the minor ozone as well, which is one of the forgotten ozones. And I want to stress the importance of it. There is the MAH, the major ozone therapy, where we draw the blood, ozonated go back, goes back in the vein. And there's also this gentle yet very pow powerful treatment where we take about four to five cc's of blood, ozonate it, and we actually inject it back into the muscle. So we bypass the vein and we're stimulating a different part of the immune system. This has been invaluable uh, today with all the viral conditions, like literally invaluable. And we have people come back for that. So that's another. Wow. So where, where do you put that? So it's I am. You can put it in the muscle right here, especially the men like it in the shoulder or literally in the glute just like any wow, that I've heard about it, but I, I didn't know much about it. So that's very cool to know. See, these are things that nurses could all do. So that's very cool. Um, okay. So as far as the business part, when the, the biggest challenge with the nurses and as female practitioners, I know I had this when I started out my clinic is knowing how to run the clinic, knowing how to run mm -hmm. the business and all that to ex explain to us and share with us what you've learned and what are you doing differently now? Are you doing online? Are you doing offline? What kind of business? model are you using that is really keeping you head and shoulders above everybody else? The business model that I'm using is literally making it about the person and making it individual instead of putting everybody in the same, you know, you need 10 ozones, you need this, you need that. I have found that um, a lot of patients really resonate with that and they they seek it. They, they ask, they come to us. And what we focus on is I have made sure even if somebody is really healthy to take the time and just do a brief interview ahead of time, making sure that they are going to have a positive and beneficial effect. And that makes, you know, that makes more sense for them. And it also yeah. helps them to come back really. Yeah. And then, then they don't feel like they're, you know, just a number and just going yes. and doing the same old, same, same old. So that's brilliant. Um, and then Dr. Kaka, do you find that the um, people who are coming in and, uh, you're seeing that, you know, here's the, the different packages, here's what's working, what's working. Are, so you're here now, but 20 years ago, did you have, how did you learn the business part? Because the nurses are lost with the business part. Mm -hmm. Female yeah. practitioners are lost with the business part. I know I had to learn. 
What did you do? Did you get a, get a coach? Did you read a book? How did you make your business so successful? Hmm. I actually did start working with another practitioner at that point. It was the easiest way to start in. And as far as the legalities right now for nurses, I know that medical doctors, the ones that can do ozone with no problem are the holistic MDs, the you know MDH. So it may be a great idea to maybe start with somebody like that, understanding that Ozone is a gray area because it is not officially approved by the FDA, but all we need to do, we have patients sign a consent form. So the, the main thing before I start treating anybody, they sign a consent form understanding that we're doing these, as we call experimental therapies and not approved by the FDA. Therefore, legally, we are, um, you know, exempt from any really legal actions they do understand that i actually have a lot of patients liking that idea that they know there's something powerful about this treatment if it's not approved by the fda so i've gotten that feedback quite a bit and so that's one thing and the other thing is understanding that what i have to offer is actually very valuable is beyond valuable it is it combines, you know, if somebody is on cleansing diet and they do supplements, I bring in two or three ozone therapies. It takes their healing time and it literally shrinks it to a very short period of time. And people, I, I make sure people know that and they understand that it allows me to be more in charge as to, okay, yes, this is a business and I'm thinking about this as a business, but ultimately my top priority, what is best for the person. And when I put that in the front of what is most important, I, I can tell that patients really appreciate it. They get better, they are referred, like they are for their, their peeps, they are for their friends. And so it has been naturally just staying true to what I believe in and what I know works and what is best for the person. And the business has, literally grown based on that by leaps and bounds no for sure and so are you finding that as people well the, the thing i love about ozone like you said it, should, it gives you quick 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 results and people then refer out have you seen a change in this last year especially you know things have changed around that people want this more or not want it more like where do you see it shifting no, I see definitely shifting. We have been, you know, we've been booked ahead. We have wait lists for patients. We have patients referring, like you gotta do ozone. Hey, I have had loss of smell. I have had this post COVID. We have had tremendous success with combining ozone therapy with IV hydrogen peroxide because they work simultaneously. They work in conjunction. There is power in combining those two specially. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just said something that I had totally yes. forgotten about. Yeah, hydrogen peroxide. That's a whole modality that is so important. First off, yeah. explain what it is mm -hmm. and explain how you just said it works with ozone. Tell us. Yes, they're both peroxidative therapy. So they're highly effective against pathogens. Besides bringing oxygen to the tissue, they have anti-pathogen properties because ozone, as it enters our tissue, it actually turns into peroxides. That's where the power comes in. And the, the idea about explaining this to a patient, we're literally just enhancing what the immune system already knows how to do. The immune system knows how to make peroxides. That's how we really treat some of these major viruses. So we're just adding extra healing power, extra army. So the ozone does one thing. It The ozone really works with the immune system. It tells the immune system, besides killing the virus or the pathogen itself, it's able to tell the immune system to do it. So besides us doing it right on the spot, the body becomes the memory of the immune system is enhanced so it can fight better. So that's number one is a long-term therapy while we're experiencing the effects right away in the office, they are long-term. The hydrogen peroxide has more of a right off the bat fighting power against the pathogens, especially the chronic ones. And the beautiful thing is high affinity for the lungs and the upper respiratory system it has high affinity affinity for the small intestine and for the bladder. So those are the areas where we tend to have chronic infections kind of linger, urinary tract infection, you know, the SIBO, the gut infection and the sinuses, the lungs. So because of the condition now with the COVID and the viruses, 
the hydrogen peroxide has been a treatment we have started with for maybe a couple treatments before bringing ozone because they work so well together, we can use them at the same time. However, sometimes cleaning up the pathogen is is a good thing to start with before we bring the ozone in, modulating the immune system. And just to quickly answer how it's done, literally in a saline solution, we add intravenous hydrogen peroxide, that's it. And then it drips over about 90 minutes is preferred. So that's a little longer treatment, uh, but it can be modified. So that one will be more, instead of coming to somebody's home, having to sit there for a while, be more, do I have a clinic where I can literally have people on IV so that I can see multiple people at the same time? Yeah, and I was gonna bring that up. Um, a lot of the nurses are now looking at renting out a room and wondering how many chairs they should have because that's so, they could go to people's homes, yes, and charge a little bit more having kind of a concierge service, mm -hmm. or they could go and have a room and have chairs. How many chairs do you have in your clinic? We have about six right now, availability for eight, but uh, six comfortably. Yeah, see, it's nice to have that many chairs because then they could come in, they're doing all the different modalities. So I didn't know you were doing the peroxide therapy. That's fantastic. So you do the peroxide, you do the ozone, but you also do nutritional IVs, yes? Yes, yes. And so let's talk a minute about that because I really want the nurses to hear this. Nutritional IVs with this is such a powerful combination. Tell us which ones you use and what the benefits are that you're seeing. Yes, so to again distinguish if I'm coming into somebody's home versus they're coming into my office, I have different options. The ozone major and the ozone shot would be a priority. Those are the, the biggest movers and they are the fastest as far as treatment goes and people really see the effect in front of them. If I'm able to do an IV at that point, I would probably do one of the either nutrient supportive IV with the B vitamins and minerals and some vitamin C and or if needed, I will use the liver support detoxification IV that has more of the amino acids, the glutathione, taurine, the methionine, and also tocolene. Those are quick IVs and they can be done within really 30 minutes, so it'll be an hour appointment. Um, we do that at the office, depending on what the patient needs. And when I have the office availability, then I can bring in the longer treatments, which would be the hydrogen peroxide IV or the NAD or many others. So it just depends what will be your primary way of treating patients. And then just know that in both of them, you have some powerful tools to use literally, and I just choose the best one for the patient, but either way it's going to work. Yeah. And, and like you always say, it's customized. Yes. This is our specialty. We are customizing programs for people. So how do you determine what the patient needs? Are you taking some, you said CBC, right? And you said a couple of other things. Um, can the nurses do that? Do they need to work with somebody to get some lab tests done to figure out what the patient needs? Or can they in general, because I see some of these places, these um, like oxygen bars where they just give a general nutritional IV and a little general mm -hmm. ozone. Can that be done also? Oh, definitely. It, I have seen a lot of those bars where the it's, you know, detoxification IV or nutrient support for our energy support or immune system support. So we can find names that really resonate with people and literally make that as a part of the menu. Because I have had on my, on my card, I have, this is the IVs that we do. And this is what they offer, you know, some like phosphatidylcholine really offers support to the brain. So we have called it a certain way and we have some patients actually pick. So I want to do this one. I want to do this one. And we, if that's, it can't hurt them. It's like, yeah, no, it's it, not, yeah. yeah, it can't hurt them because there is just taking vitamins basically into their bloodstream. So it's a beautiful thing. So nutritional IVs, the peroxide and the, the ozone, Oh my gosh, I'm coming yes. to your clinic. I want the full treatment. <laughs> yeah. And then the make liver, videos on that. I know the liver detox, I have to push a little bit more because it's not such a, you know, favorable concept, but once they understand that they do need to work with the liver and making sure the pathways are open, they get it and they're on board. Yeah. So, um, one more, give us one more case study. Is there anybody else that you've seen that came in they weren't feeling good. They've been having this struggle. You started working with them and ba-bam. So I have two that come to mind. One is 
I had a lady come post a lot of chronic, you know, post cancer, post autoimmune illness, literally struggling with pain and, and really not knowing, no, it's like they call it the mysterious illness and knowing no, what is going on. And she wanted to do ozone. She's tried everything else. And she's like, I want to do ozone. And we have started doing ozone. And here is like every day I'm amazed by the ozone. I never cease to amaze me what I can see and what can happen. But for her, 13 years prior, she had port put in for all her chemo and everything has healed, nothing going on there. Just, you know, you would think she's okay. We did ozone. She started literally oozing infection out of the site right there. Wow. I was, I was like, wow, there has been chronic infection sitting in there for all this time and nobody knew. She didn't know. She's been tired, literally bogged down, her, her body barely making it. And the ozone, the ozone knows where to go. It's like the body chooses where am I going to use this powerful resource? And it directs it there. So that was huge. I have seen similar things to that, but that one was really beautiful. Um, the other one was a lady in her late 60s, again, chronic autoimmune seizures, lots of medications, very much like unable to find her her mind she was very anxious you know the high toxicity in her mind unable to breathe properly take a deep breath we did we started with her with the detoxification of the liver i did actually a couple hydrogen peroxide with ozones i did ozone hydrogen peroxide she started healing her teeth her dental her long-term dental infection started healing it was it was remarkable she's like oh okay i feel this and the next day it's gone oh and as the iv was going in she's like, oh i feel this and then she started feeling better within my goodness two, three, really three weeks because in, you know, after a few treatments, this is really fast because especially if there is today, there is usually what I see two main culprits from the physical standpoint is pathogens, chronic pathogens, and then chronically, you know, stored toxins in our bodies. For the most part, we need to address both. The ozone hydrogen peroxide is invaluable in addressing, like we don't have in traditional medicine, we don't have the support that ozone and hydrogen peroxide do give us for healing that. And then over here, we add making sure the body can detoxify. When we combine these two, mm, sky's the limit really how far the body can go in healing itself. Yeah, and that's what's so, so exciting. I want everybody to know this. So I really appreciate you sharing all that. So those of you who are watching, listening, and you're intrigued by this, we have something for you, or I should say Dr. Kotka has something for you. Okay, so you have a free training. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, so I have finally, I've had people asking me, I have a doctor working with me and um, I've been training her and it takes, there is quite a few things that I have learned that if somebody knows, makes it so much easier. It makes this really a pleasant treatment to administer for the practitioner as well as for the patient. So I have taken, as I said, all these learnings and studies from everybody else and I have put it in a nice condensed package like here is what we want to do here is how it looks like here is some history about ozone so we know what to tell our patients and here are the troubleshootings I have found the troubleshootings are invaluable because once I know what to do if there is a little quote-unquote trouble oh it's easy so yeah. we have that available and um yeah it's it's really easy and so I offer this training and this package. And then afterwards, there's also in one-on-one, -on -one, either a personal experience or just helping you through it. Once yeah. So you, the free, so the free portion is online. The correct? free portion. So there, the free portion, I'm just going to send you the first introductory as for what does ozone do? Why do I want to use it? All the powers, literally once, once we know what the ozone can do, it's, it's almost no brainer, you know, doctor, Dr. Schellenberger says, this is a no-brainer medicine. That's what he calls it. So I'm right on board with him. So you get that. That's a free portion. If you choose to go further and learn about it, that will also be available for you. Yeah. So we'll have only for the attendees who are on this event, get that. That's it. We are not putting this public. We're, we're protecting Dr. Kapka. We want only the ones who really want to get into this 
that you guys get it. But if you want the one-on-one -on -one training, well, I'm going to put Dr. Kutka's information on the bottom. Contact her so that you could, she's in Arizona. It's not that far. I don't care where you are. I would just go there just to learn from her. And then you get the one-on-one -on -one where she could walk you through every step of it. It's not hard, but it's the troubleshooting. She's so spot on with that. It's from working with this for years and years and years that she could walk you through. So I really encourage you guys to talk with her. Even if you're like, you're thinking about it and you're like, I want to like, call her. She'll talk to you. She'll answer your questions. She'll take care of you on every single level. Cause that's Dr. Katka. She cares about you. Right. Happy to. The therapy is too special and too powerful to not be shared. Yeah, for sure. So thank you so much. And at the very end, we have a little quick um, questions that I'm going to rapid fire questions. You want to play a little game with us? Sure. <laughs> this is always a surprise for all the speakers and nobody has said no so far. So see, they like to play. Great. So answer this, fill in, fill in the blank. I like nature. Okay. There you go. What's what specifically about nature? Peacefulness and the, the acceptance of nature. Mm, do you like to go out to the mountains or yeah. where do you like to go? Sunset. Sunset is my thing. Oh, see, there you go. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Um, so I like uh, fill this blank in. I wish. Mm, I wish for the world to see the truth of who we really are. Oh, yeah. There's a reason she's saying that. We're going to have to have you on an interview because that's powerful. Okay. And the last one is, um, what is the last thing you did for yourself to have peace? Yes. It's, I do go, I make sure to go for sunset every day, unless there's something comes up. Sunset is my time to realize that we are nature, we are of the sun, and we really have the sun. Like the power of who we are is inside of us. So what I do, I actually do that every day, just the reconnection with the deeper inside of who I am. Right? Oh, I love that. Dr. Kaka, thank you so much for being on here, giving us your time and wisdom and experience. My new friend, my new cousin. <laughs> so grateful to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And all of you who have been watching, listening, thank you for your time. Appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure, make sure that you get Dr. Kaka's free training on the Ozone. Contact her if you're interested. And in the meantime, my friends, take this information and really think about using it in your new business as a holistic nurse. We want you to be successful. We want you to serve others. And this is the place to do it. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next episode.